Hi friends, myself I am Rakesh. I have been in the industry for the past five years. I am into training. I have trained so many students and I have planned some in-house trainings and corporate trainings and I have trained so many students across the institutions. Today we are here to learn about some concepts of performance testing. I have this is a PPT for that and coming to the performance testing before going to learn about performance testing we should know about testing testing means to check the correctness of the program to check the quality of the program is called a testing in the testings there are two types of testings one is functional testing and the second one is non-functional non-functional testing what is meant by functional testing functional testing means to check the the testing which covers the functionality of the system is called the functional testing and the testing which deals with the non-functional requirements of the system is called the non-functional testing coming to the functional testing let me take a test case of login and logout functionality like enter the url on the on your favorite browser enter the username and the password click on login and verify the home page is displayed or not and after that you will go to the logout and click on logout this is the sample test case what we will do in the functional is we will check whether we, if you give the valid username and invalid password and click on login whether the error message is displaying or not and if you are giving valid username and valid password after logging into the website whether the home page components are loaded that's what we are checking the functionality of the system that's why it is called as functional testing but whereas the performance testing deals with the non-functional requirements what are the non-functional requirements like performance in the performance they will be categorized into two types one is client side and the second one is server side in the client side you can get two types of metrics like response time throughput In the server side, you can get the metrics like CPU, memory, network, disk I.O. I.O. means input, output. Okay, on a high note, I can say performance testing means which is dealing with the non-functional testing in that the client side matrix is response time on the throughput whereas the server side matrix is CPU means our processor central processing unit and the memory you can call it as primary memory and secondary memory like hard disk and the network like the bandwidth those kind of things and the disk means whatever the activities which are stored on the primary disk those are the disk activities like swap memory those kind of things and now I am going to explain about the definition of performance testing as you can see I said performance testing is a non-functional testing here what we can determine we can determine the responsiveness means the response time we can determine the stability of the system we can determine the resource utilization what is mean by resource utilization suppose let me take an example of the system the resources are cpu memory network and disk io if you are maintaining all these things on a single note like if you want to check the responses of the system if you want to check the stability of the system if you want to check the resource utilization of the system on a high note if you combine all the things if you do testing that is called as a performance testing and as I said my definition of performance testing is 
if a system which contains the three metrics like speed stability and scalability then we can say that the, the system is performance compliant what are the three types of metrics one is speed stability and scalability speed in the sense how much time it is taking to load the page let me take an example for this if you take the example of google.com page if it is loading in 10 minutes of time then obviously we will get frustrated what is the customer requirement about the application is that the google.com page or some other website should load within three seconds of time it does not take more than three seconds if it is taking more than three seconds definitely the customer or the end user will get frustrated that's why here the performance tester's job is to check the speed of the system whether it is meeting the customer requirements or not and the second one is scalability okay let me take an example for the scalability today the application has been launched into the market it has has an user base of 10,000 users today and tomorrow the application got some craze and the user base has increased from 10,000 to 1 lakh our system should be scalable and it is accessible when there is the user base is 10,000 and from the 10,000 and from the 10,000 the user base suddenly increased to 1 lakh okay here my system is scalable to uh, uh, to give the resources of 10,000 people and now the user base has increased to 10, 1 lakh then also my system should be scalable to uh, and these one lakh users also should be able to access the website that is called as scalability and coming to the stability stability in the sense without any system crashes my application should be scalable when the there is sudden increase of user load if you take an example during the christmas days there will be heavy traffic on the e-commerce sites then what you want to do that is called as huge impact on the application in the performance terminology we can do the same replica of the system by using stress testing okay it consists of sudden increase of user load then we can do some types of testing like stress testing and spike testing by this we can assure that the system is compliant by using these three type of activities like speed scalability and stability if these three types of metrics are satisfied then only we can say that the system is performance compliant and why we want to do performance testing as i said to check the number of to check the response time when there is large amount of users to check the maximum load consistently because the application load is not same at all the hours some of the peak hours when the during the working hours the application usage is very high but at the non-peak hours the application usage is somehow low the performance test engineer want to assure the customer that the application should be accessible at peak peak times and the application should be accessible at normal times which the application is not going to be crashed that means the application should be very stable and ensuring that the response time should be same in the production also there are so many environments like dev environment qa environment staging environment and production environment once all the development is done they will store their data in the development arc and after the development arc they will move to the QA arc and when the QA is somewhat stable after doing some sanity and smoke testing they will move to the staging in the staging is a quiet replica of production after uh, doing all the testings like functionality testing and this performance testing and they will move to the production always we will take the replica of production system why you want to take replica of production system because all the end users are not accessing this development arcs and staging arcs the end users will directly attack the 
production side so we want to take the replica of production side how we want to take the replica of production side suppose the user base of the production site is 10000 we want to take a replica of 1000 users suppose the web uh, web server and application server is having some uh, 8 gb of memory ram we want to take some 3 gb to 4 gb suppose the application uh, ethernet having having 2 gps 4 gps we want to test at 512 mbps to 1 gbps in that way we want to take the replica of performance testing of production environment and we want to do performance testing that's why we want to do performance testing let me take a recent example like flipkart there is a day called big billionaire day at that time exactly at four o'clock the application has been crashed this is the issue not with the functionality of the system this is the issue with the performance of the system that's why the application got crashed and the company got loss of over 600 crores obviously they have done the business of 600 crores if the application has been accessible from the four o'clock to eight o'clock there will be another 600 this is and that too there is a performance impact on the application the application crashed and there is a huge impact on the huge impact of the business of the flipkart that's why every application which is having impact of large number of users want to do performance testing that is that's why it is very crucial in the testing area and what are the different phases we can do performance testing